Here we are on the cloud screen, the very first screen you, you come to when you just started your new I Do subscription. So here we are. You can see that it has a name of new. So if we click on this, it'll say follow the arrow to edit your new cloud. So let's go and follow the arrow. Boom. Goes right here. We can click on this thing to edit it. This will delete it. Let's do the edit. So here you have a little screen here. This is the edit cloud screen and we have to give it a name. This is really just a friendly name that will appear right here. An example is Bethany and Gregory. That's the sample bride and groom that we use. So I'm going to do that. You can do, obviously, your name. So we'll do Bethany and Gregory. You get a website with every cloud and with every event that you put into I do. This is a very neat and exciting feature and we're very pumped to provide this. So here you have I do HQ dot com slash this Bethany and Gregory this will be your root URL if you will it'll be where your events reside so here you can see it's available if it's already taken it will say unavailable and you'll need to change it in here you could put something like maybe you'll put something like N or you know you know loves or something like that you know you could do something like that but let's do uh, Let's do this. This is available. You have the ability to do a website password. So this will make it so that if people go to iduhq.com and type it in and you don't want people to see your, it's basically, uh, you know, you have blog posts there, you have images, you'll be able to put all sorts of stuff, but this will allow you to password protect this website so the world out there won't be able to see it unless they know the password. On the screen also we have the ability to build your dream team. Since this is cloud based, this version of I do allows you to have true collaboration. You'll be able to invite people into this personal cloud of yours so that then when they log in, they will be able to help you collaboratively plan your events. They'll be able to add names and all that good stuff. So this is very powerful and unique to the world it's never been really done before so you'll be able to have your own dream team so here the purchaser per person will be here but then you can invite a teammate so I'm gonna put here uh, you know love of my life at elmsoftware.com you, you know you put in your your fiance's name here you'd put in your mother-in-law you'd put in your father-in-law maybe you put in a wedding planner if they're helping you out you put in whoever you want to help you collaboratively plan. Maybe it's your bridesmaid or your groomsman. You know, do what you will, and you'll be able to set permissions. But you know, I would invite first your your fiance and, and maybe your parents uh, and your professionals that are helping you that you want them to see. So we'll do this. We'll do email. Love of my life at elmsoftware.com. That email address does not exist, to be perfectly honest with you. But an email was sent to that account. For the sake of example, I just added another one here that does exist, support at elmsoftware.com. So we're going to include that person, and I want to show you what the email invitation will look like to the recipient. It looks like this. So it says, John Leaders invite you to join I Do. You get information here. This allows the person to download it, and it gives them their username and their temporary password to log in. So that's what the invitation will look like to the people that you are inviting to help you collaboratively plan your wedding and your events. As we get back in here, let's say that this is me, my fiance. We would want to make them an administrator. That would give them, you know, equal administrative capabilities that you have. You can, they can, you know, edit the cloud name and edit the event information. They just have more. Uh, privileges, so to speak, than the contributor. A contributor is someone that does not have the ability to delete clouds and to delete and edit cloud names and events. So that's the thing. It's very simple on this level. We'll have more permissions at a lower level, but at this at this uh, dream team level, you're either an administrator or you are a contributor. So we'll close this. We'll go back here. Everything looks good. We're going to save that. Now you can see we have Bethany and Gregory as the cloud name. We have 
little icon here, and we have two uh, mystery guests that we don't have the image yet. And then we'll click on Done. And now we're ready to get in and start looking at the events of the cloud. So I'm going to click right here.